Okay, so I'm not normally one to make tutorials on anything. That's not really my shtick, but this has been driving me insane for multiple days now, and I feel the need to explain it to other people in case there's anybody else out there who's in my boat. All I wanted to do was get an ambient occlusion texture from a model in Blender with literally as few button presses as possible. This, in my opinion, is the no bullshit way to actually achieve that. First things first, I'm just gonna model something complex enough to actually show that there's ambient occlusion. All right, so once you have your thing modeled, you wanna grab all the surfaces and do a smart UV project. Then I'm gonna to go to the UV panel and you can see it there. Now I'm going to go to the materials section and it doesn't matter if you already have materials or not, just make one, call it AO or ambient occlusion, make a new thing for it, make it a image texture and make a new image texture and you can set the resolution to whatever you want, call this one ambient occlusion or whatever the case may be. If you have a nomenclature, use it and leave everything default and hit okay. So you'll see a big black thing there and it's got all of the things on it. Make sure it matches at the top there uh, in the UV panel. And then you're going to unselect the faces and select the object itself. You go to the render tab on the side, make sure it's set to cycles, not EV. Make sure it's set to CPU, uh, maybe GPU works, but I use CPU. Then go to bake, select the bake type, make it ambient occlusion and press the bake button. Now it's going to do its thing. It's pretty quick. And bam, you should see on the side your appropriate looking ambient occlusion. And if you go to the actual textured mode in Blender, you can see the ambient occlusion texture map there. Then you go up to the top and you go to image, save as, and then save out your file wherever you need to go. And this is the file you can import into Unity or Unreal for your purposes, but this is the fastest way I've figured to get a texture of an ambient occlusion map from Blender with no fucking stupid bullshit. Hopefully it works. If you found this because you're freaking out and you can't get an ambient occlusion map in an efficient or fast way, hopefully this helps.